We can speak to Dr. Filiz Katman, who's right here in Istanbul. She's the president of the Energy Politics and Markets Research Center at Istanbul Aydin University. Doctor, thank you so much for your time. Uh, Andrew Hopkins, if you heard him a few minutes ago, was talking about that transition that countries are making from fossil fuels to renewable energy. In terms of Turkey's transition, is it ambi ambitious enough? Uh, yes, uh, as mentioned by the reporter from uh, G20 Summit, uh, the ambition, uh, it is really ambitious target uh, to achieve, especially for developing countries like Turkey, uh, Turkey uh, but uh, as we all know, as you mentioned uh, recently, uh, global climate uh, uh, change turned out to be a global climate crisis, which needs immediate action uh, which uh, puts countries like turkey which uh, turkey which are which are categorized as uh, developing countries to put uh, ambitious targets but uh, of course there will be negotiations uh, in the summit to adjust uh, the the target uh, with respect to the development uh, targets of the developing countries uh, it will uh, take some time uh, to uh, reach a kind of um, base, uh, a platform where uh, these two uh, parts of the world, like developed countries and developing countries, to meet in the middle uh, for the common future. That is the main point. Uh, as we have seen recently in Turkey with floods, uh, the uh, cl climate issue is real. And the action is necessary now. It, we cannot delay it anymore. So that's why uh, we are investing uh, for future by uh, compromising uh, on the ambitious targets like, like Turkey has set for 2053. Uh, and in terms of the G20's uh, discussions about financing developing countries, you called Turkey a developing country. Does that mean it will need a lot of external financial assistance to make that transition, or can it largely self-finance the process itself? Uh, def definitely, uh, developing countries like Turkey will need financial assistance. Uh, as uh, we can see the, in the European uh, Green Deal, uh, there is such a mechanism in European Green Deal for EU member countries. Uh, since Turkey is a candidate country, Turkey in future uh, may benefit from that. But definitely, uh, this is the argument of the developing country. The current price are paid by all of us, but the creator of this current price is not the developing countries. It is the developed countries which increase, which contributed more than the developing countries in the carbon dioxide emission, greenhouse gas emissions in the atmosphere. But you ask to pay the price equally. That is not fair. That is the argument of the developing countries. That's why they require some kind of financial assistance uh, in meeting the uh, ambitious targets uh, which are set in the Paris climate deal. Dr. Phyllis Katman, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it.